what LeBron said to Lonzo in this infamous picture finally revealed. Hey there, welcome to The Fumble here in Los Angeles. I'm Crystal Rich. Make sure you click the subscribe button below to stay up to date on the latest sports news and you can follow your girl on social media at Crystal Rich. LeBron James and Lonzo Ball were photographed together in a very interesting picture last season at the Quicken Loans Arena. Now, what happened was LeBron had his shirt covering his face while it seemed like he was whispering something to Lonzo. What that something was, no one knows. The media predicted what it could be. They scrutinized. They thought maybe he revealed that he was coming to the Lakers. I mean, after all, LeVar Ball did go on ESPN on live TV and predict that LeBron James was coming to the Lakers. Now, at that point, we all looked at LeVar and laughed. We thought he was crazy when he said that. But guess what? A few months later, and it actually happened. So is that what LeBron whispered to Lonzo while lifting up his shirt and saying something to him? We thought maybe he could have gave him pointers on his jumper. No shade. Maybe he said he wanted to work out with him but didn't tell him why, that he was joining the Lakers. I know you saw this picture. What were your first thoughts about this combo when you first saw it? Drop a comment and let me know. LeBron finally reveals that it was just an uplifting conversation. He said the gist of it was at the end of the day, no one can define who you are but yourself. When you're young, you can get caught up and listening to what people say, what people think that you should be. But at the end of the day, no one can define who you are besides yourself. If you put in the work, you commit to the game, then the game will give back to you. And that's all about it. Now, that was the advice that LeBron gave to Lonzo to help him out in his game because last year obviously he was a rookie and it was so nice of him to help his future teammate. I wonder if he knew that would be his future teammate because all rookies need words of wisdom. But is it me or did it seem like that advice was about his dad? All they can do is talk and say I told you so or he like this or he like that. That's fine with me. He said no one can define who you are besides yourself. You can get caught up in listening to what people say about you. I mean, come on guys, we all know that that applies to LeVar Ball because he controls every single move of his sons. You know what, we're not even competing with them. Cause we better than them, we're a step above them. LeBron probably already knew that he was coming to LA and he wanted to make sure that LeVar was in line by whispering to Lonzo before that happened. Of course, he, I'm sure he meant the media as well, but who's more in Lonzo's ear than freaking LeVar Ball? I'm undefeated, never lost. LeVar controls every aspect of his sons. When Lonzo got drafted, he was the most vocal father of our generation. He controlled LaMelo by pulling him out of high school. He controlled LaMelo and Jello by taking them overseas and then pulling them out of overseas and then putting them in JBA. Could he be talking about his dad? Now, an even bigger question is, we asked you before, who is paying LeVar Ball to zip it, to be quiet after that conversation? conversation with Lonzo could it be on Lonzo's payroll guys I'm just starting crap I highly doubt it but it is interesting that LeBron James had this conversation with Lonzo Ball and then next season he ends up on the Lakers and his dad also ends up completely silent all right guys a little riddle for you what is more loyal than a Lakers fan give you a second to think about it a Kobe fan you think it might be the same thing but it's not. Some fans still want LeBron to earn their trust and respect. <laughs> and I get it. The Lakers are the most decorated franchise pretty much in the NBA. They have such a rich history. And a reporter asked LeBron that question. The reporter didn't say Kobe Bryant's name, but she alluded that LeBron needed to earn the trust of the fans, kind of like Kobe did. Huh? <laughs> when you say the fans that say they want to see you and, and earn their respect? Uh, I'll sign a four-year deal. How much more? I mean, what do you want me to do? I'm here, so. I mean, I know what I bring to the table on the floor. I get it, guys. I love Kobe. I am from Philly. I wore number eight when I played basketball for Kobe. But are there still lingering feelings with Kobe and LeBron? Who, me? My whole thing is, 
don't crown him the king of LA just yet. And we talked about this when they defaced all of his mural and vandalized his mural in LA. I wouldn't say he's the king of LA because that's just disrespectful to the entire lineage of great Lakers players ever, but to also deny LeBron's greatness would be a mistake. Obviously, he has to prove himself on the court, but like LeBron said, this is a new system for him. Lastly, LeBron is practicing the art of patience at his first day of practice as a Laker, and our LeBron is all grown up. I can't believe his first day of practice is already in the books. Here is his thoughts on his squad. I'm not a very patient guy, but I understand that I have to be, um, you know, patient. You know, right now, I'm, I mean, I got to be patient with myself too, because this is um, this is a new start for me. Day one was all defense. LeBron said the guys picked things up pretty fast, but the real question is, how long is LeBron going to be patient? This is the same guy who we reported and told you that he said he would break his teammates' nose if he kept dropping passes. Yes. Me? Yes, you. Huh? The name of that teammate was never revealed, but that's something that LeBron said. So practicing patience for LeBron will be a new challenge for him, but let's just tell you this. Don't ask J.R. Smith how it is for LeBron to lose his patience with you because it is not a good feeling. Who's the first person LeBron is going to go off on on the Lakers? I can already smell it coming since this is a new team coming together. Drop a comment and let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching The Fumble. I'm Crystal Rich.